So I had the chance to get out on the old Road King for a little bit. It's a 2005 Road King Custom. has a 1450 motor, 88 inch. And um, I have fishtails on it, straight pipes, torque cones. It's a fun bike. Just a nice little bike to cruise around on. And uh, yesterday was beautiful. Today was beautiful. We've had some nice weather here. And uh, this is just cruising not far from my house here, cruising through some of the countryside in, in Lancaster County. Um, we have a number of, of um, covered bridges in this area. And that's just some nice back roads to cruise around on. But I do want to touch on a topic a little bit. You know, I keep hearing people talking about lane positioning and uh, what's the best one and all of that kind of stuff. So um, I was able to get out on the highway for a little bit yesterday and yeah, just talk about a little bit of this. So I have a mic set up. Now, I'm just still learning with that mic. So I do get a little bit of sound off of it that I'm like, eh, I got to make some adjustments there. But at any rate, uh, you can hear what I'm talking about, and this is on Route 222 on the highway here. So when you're on a motorcycle, you have three lanes or three positions in your lane. You have, you know, towards the left. Uh, I'm on a four-lane highway, so in this case... You know, the left is right at the zipper, what we call the zipper, the dotted line. You have the center, and you have the right. These are the three lane positions. Well, which one's best? Uh, you know, it's situational. It depends on the situation. I mean, if you want to, if I think that, if I'm worried about a car's pulling out and getting into my lane because they might not see me, for example, right here, let me use this. I'm going to switch lanes. I'm going to stay here if I'm worried about somebody in the right lane thinking that there might be an open space behind the car in front of me. I want to stay over to increase my chances of that car seeing me. The car's vehicle's in the right lane. Now, in a situation like this, right here where I'm at, I mean, it's really not that big a deal. I, I'll tend to stay to the right because I don't want to pass the guy. I'm just riding behind him. So I'll stay to the right. It gives me more of an escape pattern in case something would happen. I have the shoulder. But, you know, I, I hear people talking about, well, where should I ride? What's the best position? It depends on the situation. It really does. You know, you're, you're going you're gonna to have to move the bike from one place to the other. If you're by yourself. Now, if I'm riding with someone else, so there's somebody else, whether we're staggered or side by side, however you decide to ride, depending on who you're with, you know, um, th then the chances of other people seeing you are increased. But when you're by yourself, you know, I'm on the right side to this car in front of me. To a car that's in the left lane, if they're looking in their mirror, they're not going to see me very quickly. So it can look like there's a dead space behind the car that's in front of me. It can look like there's nobody there. And so they decide to switch into the right lane for whatever reason. They're thinking, oh, I can get over behind this car. Well, guess what? That's where I am. So if I'm worried about that, I'm going to ride on the zipper out here so that the cars coming in the left lane not coming the other way, but the cars in their left lane, it increases the chances of them seeing me and it doesn't look like there's a dead spot or nobody behind the car in front of me. So I don't know, you know, it's very situational. It just depends. Now, whenever I'm passing trucks on highways like this, I like to stay left. I like to give the trucks as much room as possible. You know, that's a big rig. And I like to give them as much room as possible. Plus, another thing to think about when you're passing trucks is it does change the wind. You know, the way the, the wind whips around these big rigs, especially when you're behind them, 
Uh, you need to be careful with that. It's just something to think about. Again, not a crazy big deal, but something to consider and uh, keep in mind. I just stay to the left of this guy, give him plenty of room. There's cars coming down off that exit ramp, but uh, he's not going to have to get over for them, so that's not a big deal. But that's the kind of stuff you want to watch for. You know, if it looked like that truck driver wanted to come over to give the cars coming off the exit ramp room to get on the highway, then I would have stayed over here when I was coming up behind him so that it increases the chances of him seeing me behind the vehicle in front of me. It's stuff like that. I'm not here to say that, you know, you have to ride this way or you have to ride that way. That's not the point. It's situational, like I said earlier. You know, kind of try to think through what the other people might be thinking, what they might be doing. Try and put yourself in, you know, in that vehicle's position and say, well, what, you know, do they, do they want to get over and pass that car in front of them or something? Are they thinking of switching lanes? You know, try to try to put yourself in the other vehicle's position and give them an idea, and that, that way you can make a decision based on what, you know, choices they might make. So on back roads, when you're not on a four-lane highway, you know, again, you have three positions in your lane, you know, to the left, to the right, or down the middle. Ah, uh, you know, the truck coming, I tend to stay to the right, but sometimes I'm stay, I stay towards the center. It depends a lot on the road. Some of these roads get a little rough towards the shoulder side. So if that's the case, you know, I'll tend to ride where it's a little bit smoother, out closer to the center line. But, you know, I prefer the right or the left side of the lane. I don't like going down the middle, and I'll tell you why. The reason, the, well, there's a couple of reasons, but the main reason is when you're behind a car, that car, the chances of that car being able to see you um, are limited, and most times when we're in our cars, we're using the side view, the side view mirrors most times. So you limit the chances of you being seen in either one of those side view mirrors when you're directly behind the car. Uh, you know, your rear view mirror on your windshield there, you know, obviously they can use that and see you. But I know for myself, most times I'm using the left or right rear view mirrors. And so if somebody's riding right in the center right behind you, so that's one reason. Uh, you know, you're, you're not going to see them as easy unless you're using the mirror on the windshield, which I don't use that one as much. That's me personally. Another reason is because typically if a car is leaking something, say they're leaking a little bit of oil or they're leaking, you know, I don't know, some antifreeze or something. Anyway, something's leaking out, leaking out of the car. Boy, that horse, ooh. He didn't like the motorcycle. But if something's leaking out of the car, it's typically going to be in the center of the road. Which means that whatever, I mean, oil's slippery. Oil, antifreeze, whatever. Uh, any kind of moisture like that tends to get slippery. That means the chances of something that's leaking out of that car is going to be in the middle of the road. Most times, is going to, you know, most times. So that's just a couple of couple of things to think about. Again, I'm not trying to tell you how to ride or where you should ride. It's just some tips and some things that over the years, for myself, I've learned um, and discovered that well, you know, this is how I like to ride, and for these reasons. I know when I'm coming up on an intersection, and again, 
if I'm behind a car, I'm not behind a car now, but if I'm behind a car and I'm coming up on an intersection to the right hand side, what I'll do is I'll switch to the right side so that the car coming out that intersection at the stop sign or whatever, at the T road, they see me, or at least it increases the chances of them seeing me. They might not see me, I shouldn't say they see me because I don't know that for sure, but it increases the chance of them seeing me. Otherwise, it can look like it's dead space behind that car and they might not see me as quick. Ah, oh, this guy's a nice guy, he let me go. So that's just a couple of things that I've learned over the years of riding. I wanna do everything I can to increase my chances of being seen. Another thing that um, I want people to see my headlight, you know, because my headlights, I'm, they're always on on a motorcycle and Another thing you can do, or that it, that can help, is when you move from the left of the lane to the right, when you move back and forth, that movement of that headlight, that might catch their eye a little quicker than, you know, if you're just staying in the very lane. Just that little bit of movement, you know, it might catch their eye and say, oh wait, there's something else there. So I don't know. And little tips like that, little things like that, that over the years of learned and but man is it some nice riding today Woo! <laughs> yeah baby i love it and we got some nice roads here in the lancaster county i was on the highway earlier but i like these back roads they're fun So hopefully you can get out and enjoy yourself and enjoy the ride as the weather gets nicer here. Um, you know, um, I mean, we're partway through February here. So coming up on March, April, March, you can get some real nice days. And even February, you know, yesterday was beautiful. Today was pretty nice here in the Lancaster County area. So um, over and out. Get out and enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the beautiful weather when you have a chance to.